So well, welcome. Um, really glad that you're able to join or join again. Uh, welcome to Pleasure. some new folks and welcome back to some folks who were here last week. Um, our theme for Advent is this theme, The World is About to Turn, which comes from the hymn, The Canticle of the Turning, which um, is, a, is a, a version of the Magnificat, Mary's song. Um, it sings about a world uh, turned upside down for good. Um, and especially in a, in a season, a year right now, where it feels like the world has been turned upside down, not for good. Um, it's comforting in Advent to remember that that God can flip things and God has promised to flip things. And so we're focusing on that in Advent um, and especially each week on, on one theme. Um, uh, hope was the first week. This week we're focusing on peace. Um, next week we'll focus on joy. And then the last week we will focus on love. But for tonight, peace, peace is the name of the game. So as we uh, get going, just some helpful logistical things. Uh, we've done some Zoom troubleshooting, but uh, we'll continue to try and be helpful if things get uh, difficult on your end. Um, as if you were reading a bulletin uh, on the screen and in your Advent booklet, um, We'll do that usual bit where uh, my parts are in uh, regular regular font and then uh, the bold parts are what you will say. Um, we did a grand experiment last week with letting people uh, leave their sound on for responses, which makes uh, things a little disjointed, but it is very nice to hear people's voices. So you are uh, certainly welcome to uh, leave your uh, sound, uh, leave yourself unmuted for, for the responses. Um, also though, uh, just know that whatever goes on in the background of, of your space, that sound can carry into the Zoom. Um, and so if that happens, uh, don't be offended if I mute you. It's not because I don't like you, it's just because um, in a given moment, uh, there might be some extra noise that we're trying to trying to get rid of. One of the funny things about Zoom is that uh, other noises interrupt whoever the speaker is. And so um, we'll just try and be courteous about that, but, um, but you are free to, to remain unmuted for, uh, for the group responses um, if that feels nice to be able to hear your voice and hear others' voices as well. As we get going, um, you don't need anything for worship except for yourself. But there are some bonus items uh, that would enhance your worship experience tonight if you have them and want to use them. Um, if you have Advent candles, have those at the ready um, or just a candle. Um, it still uh, brings forth that same image of, of light coming into the space. So um, candle and something to light it nearby. If you do have an Advent kit from church, um, there are things there that will be helpful to you tonight. Um, in the front of the devotional book is the liturgy, so you can follow along in the booklet if you'd prefer, um, instead of reading off of the screen. Um, our, our music for tonight and the poem for tonight are also in that Advent booklet if you want to follow along with those things, and there will be page numbers as we get there, but you definitely don't need to. Um, remember that in your kit there um, are, is a packet of coloring pages. Um, and if you didn't already color your hope uh, coloring page from last week, you can color it tonight or work on the piece one or whatever order. But um, if it helps you focus or helps you meditate or feels prayerful, I am not offended if you are um, coloring um, and being creative as we go through worship tonight. I would even encourage that. Um, if it helps you focus as we pray tonight, um, that prayer card from your kit, you may want to have that nearby. It has the world map on one side and an image of Mary on uh, the back side of it. Um, and then those blue strips, um, again, as we're uh, sharing our thoughts and, and reflections and praying together tonight, um, if there are any um, prayers of your heart that you want to add to those to make into a prayer chain, I would encourage that as well. 
Um, you are free to make a chain prayer chain in your own home, and that would be lovely. Um, or you're welcome to contribute those to um, our prayer chain at church. So um, lots of options, lots of ways to stay engaged, lots of ways to um, get your creativity and your hands and your heart and your mind all working together tonight. So um, really the moral of the story is whatever feels worshipful and prayerful and meditative to you in this time, please be encouraged to do that. Um, this is holy space in many and various ways. So I encourage you um, to use this time and space together in, in ways that, um, that speak to your heart um, and, and communicate what's on your heart back to God. I think, I think that is it as far as uh, getting going announcements. Are there any questions or concerns as we get going? And dear ones, from the one who is, who was, and who is to come, grace and peace be with you all. And also with you. Come, creator of the stars, and bless our advent waiting. Turn, Turn up. Up. <laughs> Come, spirit of wonder, and restore our songs of praise. Turn, Turn us again for joy. Come, long expected Savior, and console our restless hearts. Turn, Turn us again for peace. Come, triune God, and fling wide the gates of our hearts. Turn us in. Come, O oh God, wipe away all tears. Let the dawn draw near. Turn the world. Turn the world. Oh we light two blue candles tonight in this second week of Advent, the candle of hope and the candle of peace. Let us pray. Dear God, as we journey down this Advent road, grant us the courage to make peace. Peace in our hearts, peace in our homes, peace in our communities. Amen. Our psalm, our reading for this this week are verses from Psalm 85, where uh, on this week of reflecting on peace, we get this beautiful, beautiful image of righteousness and peace kissing one another. You have been gracious to your land, O Lord. You have restored the good fortune of Jacob. You have you forgiven, forgiven the iniquity of your people. <laughs> Blotted out all their sins. I will listen to what the Lord God is saying, for you will speak peace to your faithful people and to those who turn their hearts to you. Truly, your glory, glory, Steadfast love and faithfulness have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Faithfulness and righteousness shall look down from the The Lord will indeed grant prosperity, and our land will yield its increase. Right. Righteousness, Righteousness before, before the Lord, Lord. 
and so we care for pathway. Dear ones, let us pray. God of grace, in you, righteousness and peace are met together. Help us to rejoice in your redeeming grace and to celebrate your mercy and truth made manifest among us. Lead us in pathways of justice and peace for the sake of Jesus Christ, Redeemer of the world. Amen. Amen. For our uh, reflection tonight, uh, it is the poem Quiet Time by Elizabeth Rooney. Um, if you have that Advent, Advent devotional book, it's on page 20. Um, all three of the poems in the devotional book for this week on peace are really just lovely. And um, I highly encourage you to take a look at them or to look them up. Um, when preparing for tonight, it was really a coin flip for me whether um, I wanted to include a quiet time for tonight as our reading or Wendell Berry's The Peace of Wild Things. But I feel like I uh, use the piece of wild things in worship um, fairly frequently, so um, I decided to give it a, a break in this setting, but um, that is a poem that if you are not acquainted with it is well worth your time um, to, to, to find in your devotional book and read or to look it up online. Um, just a really lovely expression of um, peace and the power of, of, of peace to overcome despair and the power of um, God's created world to remind us of that. But for tonight, um, this is an equally beautiful poem um, evoking images of nature um, to remind us of uh, God's peace as a gift, um, the ways that we can learn peace from looking at the world around us. So this is Quiet Time by Elizabeth B. Rooney. Now, we are winter deep in quietness. The shadowed snow, the gliding owl, the moon keep silent vigil now. We can be still. So still, we start to know the depth of everything. So still, we hear the stars begin to sing. This poem would speak to the question of peace in our hearts. And then a close cousin to that is uh, listening for God, speaking peace into the world and our hearts longing for that peace. And so um, as we move here into our musical reflection for this evening, um, it is the hymn, uh, Come Now, O Prince of Peace, which is a song of longing and hope and a prayer for God um, not just to bring peace to our hearts, but to bring peace into our world and peace among all people. one 
body. Come, O Lord Jesus, reconcile your people. Come now and set us free, O God our Savior. Come, O Lord Jesus, reconcile As we continue now, we add our prayers for peace in this world. In this next space, um, we will uh, move into a time first of uh, sharing thoughts about peace and prayer requests and prayers for peace. Um, this can be a conversation um, and then we will bind all those prayers up into our prayers of intercession. So um, if you have that prayer card from your Advent kit, I invite you to, to have that near um, or to hold it if you need something tangible, um, or if not, uh, simply to uh, use this image of, of the world that's on your screen as a guiding image. I want you to imagine our world, imagine its ecosystems, imagine the wonders of creation, Imagine the nations of the world. Imagine people near and far, those whom you love, those whom you struggle to love, family, friends, enemies, strangers, those who have come before you, those who will come after you. As you think about this world, everything in it, all the people in it, everything going on in the world, everything going on in your world, I invite you to reflect on two questions. First, where in this wide expanse of the world do you see peace and where do you recognize the need for peace? I'm gonna take a minute here and open it up. This is your space to uh, share that with, with your fellow worshipers if you are comfortable or to write on your prayer strips or um, any other practice in this next moment that uh, feels prayerful to you as we prepare to, to enter into our prayers of intercession. But you are invited, if you so choose, to share your thoughts and prayer requests and answers to these questions with the group. Peace in Iceland, yes, and peace in Mauritius. Supposed to be doing it quiet. You can talk. No, you certainly can talk. Certainly need peace in, uh, in Yemen, yeah. in Syria. Mm -hmm. Middle East in general. Mm -hmm. Also our country. And praying for Diane Martin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there places around you in your world where you have seen or recognized peace in big or small ways? In a small way, I visited with an international student at Luther in the library mm -hmm. and uh, very wonderful. 
person from Nepal, mm -hmm. Anita, who helped me with some technical issues. Mm -hmm. I've been struck by um, healthcare workers that are holding the hands of, of people that are dying of COVID, watching that on the news and the peace that those strangers are providing to people as they take their last breaths has been very powerful to me. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things uh, that Advent tries to teach us every year, but especially maybe this season is uh, those, those moments of rest and quiet um, and uh, intentionally carving out those moments, however brief for, um, for just taking that moment of quiet and stillness and peace, um, which I think is one of the things that really Advent is trying to teach us every year. Um, the gift of, of slowing down um, and creating moments and spaces of peace around us as we are able. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they sang. Well, dear ones, we gather all of the prayers of our hearts together. Um, in our prayers of intercession and um, at the end of each petition, um, I will close, O oh God, for whom we long, and your response is, show us your mercy. Friends, in peace, we pray to the Lord. God of hope, you shed your light in the darkness of this world. Grant that we may always live in the promise of your word made flesh. O oh God, for whom we long. Oh, so your mercy. mercy. God of peace, establish your justice in the nations of this world, that all may strive for the good of your creation. O oh God, for whom we long. God of joy, fill our world with the light of your presence, that we may share the good news of Christ's coming. O oh God, for whom we long. God of love. You comfort all in need of your tender care. Watch over those who are sick, those who mourn, and those who struggle in the midst of holiday joy. O oh God, for whom we long. God with us, you promise everlasting mercy to your children from generation to generation. Stay with us always and show us your salvation. O oh God, for whom we are. Show us your mercy. We bring our prayers before you, God of mercy, by the pleading of your Holy Spirit, through the love of Jesus Christ, who teaches us to pray. Our Father in Father heaven, in heaven, hallowed be your hallowed name. Be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of pride and deliver us from the kingdom, the power, and the glory are you now and forever. Amen. And now, dear ones, as we await the coming of Christ, may the God of our salvation grant us peace and joy, hope and gladness this night and always. Amen. Amen.
go in peace. The world is about to turn. Thanks, 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 thanks to God. God.